Hey guys, Rotto5 here with the final episode of season number three here with Fulham. We're going to have the end of the Europa League campaign and the end of the Premier League campaign in today's video. We're kicking it off in the semi-final. We travel to Germany to take on RB Leipzig. We obviously have the 2-1 advantage over them after our victory at Craven Cottage. And taking this into the second leg... We were confident, you know, we knew we can break them down. We had a lot more than just the two, obviously, goals we scored. We had so many more opportunities than that to put the ball in the back of that. We just didn't take them. But thankfully in this one, Izet Begovic, 19 minutes into the game, does make the scoreline one goal to nil on the night, three goals to one overall on aggregate, which is exactly what we need. It just gives us a peace of mind and uh, we can play a lot less stressful a lot more stress-free uh, injuries should go down now. We should just kind of take our foot off the gas because we know we're going to be through to the final where we will be playing another Bundesliga side. And I'll reveal it now. We will be playing our former team from the beginning of this year, RB, uh, RB Le Bayer Leverkusen. We're playing RB Leipzig now. We're playing Leverkusen in the final. Now we're 2-1 up. You can see there we've made some subs, we've brought on some of the youngsters. We are cruising at this point and we're actually going to make it 3-0 on the night. 5-1 on aggregate, an absolute domination overall in this game, which is what you want to see. You can see we're just kind of playing it around the place and they're actually creating a lot of chances, even though we're just trying to keep it cool because we are going to go and score a fourth goal to make it 6-1 on aggregate, 4-0 on the night, an absolute domination here in Germany. We've turned up and we've taken over. And we are through to the final of the Europa League. Obviously, they've done this before. Have Fulham, I think they played They played Atletico Madrid in the final, I want to say. Obviously, they beat um, Juventus 4-0. Uh, but yeah, I think they played... I think they played Atletico Madrid. Roy Hodgson's men, back in the day. But a win here today. We do win the Premier League. All we need is a win. Against Everton, Everton actually sitting 18th in the league in this save. So very, very similar to real life. They are struggling and um, should be an easy win. Should be one we could take advantage of and we should be able to get all three points. And when you've got Harrison Reed coming in with that just absolute classic long-range sniper rifle effort from outside the box... You know it's going to be a good day. Especially here at Craven Cottage, we want to lift and secure the trophy here, if possible. Um, it's, you know, nothing easier than playing 18th place in the league. Um, well, 19th and 20th, but 18th place is good enough for ourselves. Seven minutes in, we're going to have another chance here to double our lead. Lovely bit of dribbling from Kulusevski. Just trying to find some space, some passing. Obviously, we just beat Leipzig 4-0. You know, surely we can beat Everton by... Just as many, even more, maybe. But again, they're going to be up for the fight because they do want to stay up. As he's at Begovic, just put a chance wide of the post. And we see there, unfortunately, Gilfie Sigurdsson is going to be retiring at the end of the season. I'm not too sure why he's still in the, in the game. Especially with him being a potential nonce. But we'll go past that one. And uh, just move, just brush it to the side, brush it to the side. Because, they've, yeah, they've just not taken him out for some reason. But... Izet Begovic does get his goal two minutes into the second half. And he does pretty much wrap the game up for us, really. All we needed was that second goal, that little safety blanket, that safety cushion for us to... If we do concede, it's absolutely fine because we've got another one just behind us. At 66 minutes into the game, a chance here for Everton, actually. Coming down the left-hand side, they just mug off Max Ahrens. Whipping it inside and a beautiful overhead kick from Alexander Lacazette. Moving from Arsenal to Everton. Really strange move there. But a beautiful goal. And they've put the pressure on. The pressure is now back on ourselves not to concede a second goal. And in the 86th minute, Sigurdsson plays it back across. They're just trying to find their man. Eventually it falls to Damari Gray in the box. The block is there by Carvalho. But it falls right back to him and he puts it into the back of the net. And Damari Gray actually does Liverpool a favour. Because what he does there is he delays our title hopes by just another game. It gives Liverpool a chance. If we lose here, we're playing Chelsea now, local rivals at Stamford Bridge, we could secure the title at the home of our rivals. 
crazy, 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 crazy. But yeah, that Damari Giro goal for Everton gives Liverpool a chance to come back at the league title. But when Izet Begovic scores 35 minutes into this game against Chelsea, that pretty much summed it up for ourselves. We do it against the harder teams. We struggle against the easy teams. It's just classic what we've done quite a few times throughout all the different career modes we've done on the channel. But here, Chilwell plays a little 1-2 with Werner inside the Pulisic. Lovely run being made by Ziek in the middle. If you can catch that one there, as Pulisic is going to find Ziek. Hits it first time and a really poor one from Lafont. You know, we thought we'd got past this stage of Lafont's career where he lets in easy goals. But I'll tell you what. He did defend well for the rest of the game. The 50th minute they scored, we just sat up shop and played for the draw because that did mean that we had won the Premier League with a game to spare, the final game of the season. We're going to be at Craven Cottage, which is good. We can lift the trophy at home. But you can see the celebrations here right in the centre of our rival's pitch. You love to see it. And that is exactly what we are going to do. We're going to lift the trophy at Craven Cottage. You can also see Riley Webber is the top goal scorer in the Premier League with 26 goals. He's very close to, well, another good season like this. He will potentially reach 90. Obviously, he needs another cracking season. But I think he's already got 100 goals overall for Fulham. Uh, if we do the maths, I haven't quite checked it out. Maybe we'll get back to you on that one. But Championship, Premier League, and obviously his second Premier League season, I think he might have about 100 goals. Uh, we did actually lose that game to Burnley. A penalty is scored and converted, but it did not matter. We had already confirmed being league champions. So we just sent the boys up there, sent them to just don't get injured because we have a Europa League final to play. So just go out there, play nice, play calm, do not get injured, don't stress yourself because we are confirmed to lift the title anyway. And that's exactly what we do here for the first time. In Premier League history. In Premier League history. I don't know if they've actually won the English League throughout the years. But Fulham lift the Premier League trophy. And it's back in London after quite, quite a few years. Up in Liverpool. In Manchester. It's finally back down in London. And it is Fulham that are the ones to lift it. And then that obviously means we now have to switch all of our focus onto the Europa League final against, uh, oh, I keep messing it up, Bayer Leverkusen. We're playing at Borussia Dortmund Stadium. That's why I said that. But yeah, champion, the Premier League is wrapped up. We're qualified for Champions League next season. That's wrapped up. Obviously, next season, we're only going to show Champions League games. Uh, and then we're going to move club at the end of the season. We're going to stick in this save. But we're going to move to a new club in either Italy or France because they're the two leagues we have yet to do this season um maybe even the um spanish league la liga because we haven't we haven't done them yet but we've uh done them in the past i don't actually think we have done an italian career mode in quite a few years so they're going to be the main main uh focus is trying to find an italian team that we can join after potentially leaving Fulham next season after maybe a Champions League victory. But very early on in this game against Leverkusen, it is Ward Prowse that scores the goal 21 minutes into the game. His first goal in this Europa League campaign is in the final to put us 1-0 to the good. It is exactly when you want your first goal to come. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Puts us up against our former team, against Holodetsky. Our for obviously, a lot of these players we know, we recognise. They've actually even signed Sergio Dest. At the uh, right back position, which is exactly what we did as well uh, in our career mode. Obviously, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It's a great career mode, very successful, and we were a really, really nice team in Leverkusen. Obviously, we lost Florian Verts in the first season. Uh, we sold him for about seventy million, I think it was, to Real Madrid. No, it wasn't. It was, I think it was in the hundreds of millions. We sold him to Real Madrid in the uh, transfer window of the second season, which is really, really good. We never actually got to use him. So maybe we pick him up at the next team we move to. Maybe we pick him up next season just so we can use him a bit more when he's at his kind of higher potential ratings. 
Uh, but for right now, a lot of chances are coming the way of Leverkusen, but Lafont is keeping them shut. You know, he's embarrassed that he conceded that goal against Chelsea. He was embarrassed that he conceded the penalty against Burnley. He is not conceding here today. And with a chance here to make it two, lovely Ronaldo chop from Riley Webber. And he puts it past Tledetsky with ease. Doubles our lead. And he pretty much writes our name on that trophy. Really what you want to see from your captain. Standing up, being counted when it matters. And yeah, you can start. You can put the FUL on the trophy. Because we are, we've are we wrapped it up. It is ours, you know. There is no point even trying to wait till the end of the game. Because they're not going to score until they do. In the 83rd minute, Christian Tello, the Spanish winger, does put the ball into the back of the net. But, unfortunately for Leverkusen, seems to be the story of too little, too late. Lafont had an incredible game, keeping them out throughout. There's, they're kind of attacking now into the final 10 minutes. They're kind of going Hail Mary putting the ball into the box. They do get a chance with another great save from Lafont, and then he punches it away. But yeah, he is the man of the match for today's game. Him and Riley Webber, the two that have secured it for us, as we almost make it three. Dodgy touch from Riley Webber, but unfortunately for ourselves, we can't get the third. But fortunately for ourselves, the referee does blow the final whistle, and we are the champions of Europe. The Europa League is ours, and we are moving on now. Next season to the Champions League, and that's it. We're probably going to have the six group stage games, the quarterfinals, no, sorry, the knockout stages. That's all going to be maybe three, four episodes, but we are, as we watch here, Riley Webber lifts the Europa League above his head. What a season for him. All the past few seasons for him. Really, really impressive throughout, and he has definitely been the best player this year. He is our player of the season, and... That is going to be it for this episode of the Fulham Corrimidor. See you in the next one for the group stages of the Champions League.